Next up, we have Temi from Life Bank. It's 4 a.m. in the morning, and you've just delivered a baby. The mom and baby are doing well, and then 45 minutes later, the mom starts bleeding. Experience shows you that 26,000 women in your country die from postpartum hemorrhage every single year. You also know that you have between 25 minutes and two hours to save this life, to stop the bleeding and replace the blood she's lost. What do you do? Where do you find the products you need to save this life? A life bank, that's the problem we're solving. We've been around for three years. We've moved over 11,000 medical products to over 400 healthcare teams across Lagos. We've helped them save 2,000 lives. Our business is simple. We gather inventory information from suppliers like blood banks. We make this information available to healthcare teams. We deliver the product in the right condition using motorcycles. We've built an artificial intelligence platform that can predict the need for this supply right to the person, right to the mother. But we are very committed to ensuring that every single product we move is in absolute right condition. We know that Nigeria has the second highest population living with HIV. We also know that 14% of all HIV cases in Nigeria is still through blood transfusion. A recent study done showed that 70% of all oxytocin used in Nigerian hospitals were not viable. So we are committed to ensuring absolute safety of essential medical products across our country. I'd like to introduce you to SmartBag. SmartBag is a blockchain-powered technology, a tag that follows every medical, medical product from the manufacturer right to the healthcare team. It stores manufacturing information, it stores supply chain information, and makes that information available to the healthcare worker. We know with this product, we can absolutely ensure safety of medical products across the developing world. Our business model is simple. We charge $8 for each unit of product we move to busy hospitals. We're already an impactful organization, but we'd like to expand our impact. We'd like to expand our impact to, the, to rural areas in our country. We'll also expand what we move. We know ox lack of oxygen kills 120,000 children every single year in our country. And we know three out of four Nigerian children are under vaccinated. We are Life Bank, and we are the business of saving lives through innovating supply chain. Thank you. Questions? Julie? It's me again. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, thank you. Thank you again for this morning. Um, again, very powerful tool. Um, we had the conversation around how, do, because what you're doing is so important in terms of saving lives, but in the minute, right, to the second, yeah. um, blood transfusion, etc. Moving even within your own country, moving within Lagos is traffic, etc. We talked about that. Drones, right. it's here. There's Absolutely. that initiative that's rolling out across Africa. Have you thought about incorporating that into your strategy and you speak to our country, Nigeria? No, beyond borders, scalability beyond your borders. What is your strategy for scale and what is your strategy for actually quickly, quickly moving products beyond motorcycles? Absolutely. We are a company, we're not a drone company, we're not a motorcycle company, we're a supply chain company. So what we do is when we enter a new city, we figure out how the, what is the best tool to move these essential products from point A to point B. Sometimes it's motorcycles in Lagos, Nigeria. Sometimes it will be drones. I am on the board of a World Bank project in Tanzania using drones to deliver medical products in Lake Victoria. We are at LifeBank committed to using new innovation to increase our mobility. Over here. Thank, thank you, Tammy. Uh, can you explain a little bit about the sort of clinics you work with? Are they private, public, or a mix? Come back. Sorry, uh, you, sorry, I didn't quite get the beginning of your, I'm so sorry. Um, the, the sort of clinics that you work with, are okay. they public, private, or a mix? Both. We work with private hospitals from rural um, areas to um, urban slums uh, like Ajegunle in Lagos. We work with government hospitals like Luth, 
uh, in Lagos. We also work with a very high level private hospital. So we're really sort of, um, we're ready to work with anyone, any hospital teams that wants to work with us. So back to the logistics we talked a bit yesterday. Since you're not a logistics company, um, and you, d you need people to deliver your products. Do you, have you thought of partnerships with Uber and other logistical companies uh, that do delivery of food and other items? We are a logistics company. You um, are? So oh, we okay. do deliver our products ourselves. So the motorcycles are ours. Um, oh, but okay. we will partner with people who are interested in partnering with us um, to, to sort of expand where we go and perhaps do it quickly. Because we work on an on-demand basis, it's really a little bit difficult to partner with logistics company in, on the continent because usually they need to sort of um, schedule their delivery. But we are on demand, and, we, and uh, so we have to run our logistics ourselves, so we are a logistics company.